Five first alert time to update those driver's licenses. We're at the first alert safety desk with Aisha this morning, and there's a new initiative from the Wisconsin DMV that's giving the option to list an emergency contact. And how's this work, Aisha? Right, so this will be actually a part of your DMV record. It's an option, but it is a good way to get that emergency contact in. This emergency contact law just launched here in Wisconsin. It gives you that peace of mind and your loved one's peace of mind. If you're in a crash or you have a medical emergency, it's a way for law enforcement and first responders to contact those people who you'd want to know uh, in a quicker way. So this information won't be printed on your physical driver's license, but it will be in the system. So when you have your license with you, it'll be in your record. The DMV will have you fill out your information, things like your Wisconsin driver's license or ID card number, the last four digits of your social security number and your date of birth. You'll then, of course, add that emergency contact information. And we've got the DMV website here where you fill out the form. It takes about one minute. This information will be something, again, that first responders see right away when you're involved in some sort of emergency and they have access. And again, much quicker way to get a hold of your loved ones. We'll add that link that you just saw to the forum on our first alert website, WBAY.com, under the safety desk tab. And coming up in the next half hour, talking about the rise in tick bites, more people getting bitten by ticks, causing what's called anaplasmosis, a really nasty bacteria that spreads to humans by deer ticks. What local health officials want you to know this morning, Steve.